Um, it's been two years since you were appointed Leicester City Manager. If you were to sum up those two years in two words, what would they be and why? Very enjoyable. It, uh, it's as simple as that. I, uh, I, I left a, you know, a great club in, in Celtic uh, to come here for the challenge of of looking to establish Leicester City as a team that could compete in the for the top places in this um, in this division, and it, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. I've had amazing support from from the players here since we come in because it's always the big challenge to you know first and foremost when you come into a club it's about convincing the players to, to to play how you want them to and then creating a working environment that uh, creates a standard and a mentality to to win consistently so uh, so yeah it's it's flown by like you say to the day two years it uh, doesn't feel like that but um, but yeah I sit here today and you know, really happy with, with how we've worked, and uh, and really excited by the the future of the the club on and off the pitch that we can continually develop. And next up, you've got Arsenal. What have you made of Mikel Arteta's side so far this season? Yeah, I think they've uh, like a lot of teams. They, they've uh, had really good moments, and then you go through a period of of inconsistency, and sometimes that uh, aligns with availability of players um, but what I know is that he, I think he's done very very well uh, there's always an expectation and a pressure at a club like uh, uh, like Arsenal and, and especially in, in your first job as a manager uh, it's, it's a real challenge for you but I think Mikel's coped with that and adapted with it really really well um, an outstanding group of players and he'll look to continue progressing them and uh, the longer he has there I'm pretty sure he will do that. You love youth players, you love dealing with youth players, you always have throughout your career. What do you make of Bakayo Saka? I mean he, he looks to be a very special talent. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love his maturity for such a young guy. Uh, he On the field he, he looks a really, really bright football player. And if you're talking about your ideal footballer being mentally tough and and having the intelligence to play out of different positions and, and different systems. He he's all of that. You know, his intelligence I've seen him play as a left back, a left wing back, central midfield, wide on the right, as a tet. He's just a, a super football player who can adapt to whatever position he plays. So uh now he's got a massive future ahead of him. He's I've been really impressed uh, by him and his and his game. Just looking at another one of your players in, in very good form at the moment, Harvey Barnes. A lot has been has been written about yeah. uh, Harvey in recent weeks, and he's he's really impressing in this season. What what impact do you feel that he's had on the team this season? Well, he's had a huge impact. Um, I think, again, what, the things we've spoken about with with Harvey and seeing his development is just on his efficiency. You know, as a, as a wide player, it was getting him into goal scoring uh positions and uh, you can see now that he, he arrives in there and when he is in he, he he scores so uh he's been absolutely brilliant for us a young player that's gaining confidence at the level you know last season was his first full season in the premier league and now he's, he's stepping up feels a real uh premier league player and uh and i believe he's just going to continue to get better